When two sisters saw their neighborhood, their childhood neighborhood on Detroit's east side falling into despair, they decided to take action. Tonight, they are helping restore the land to its former glory with their very own nonprofit. CW50's April Morton has more on their amazing journey. Sisters Kim and Rhonda Diaz reflects on their time growing up on Detroit's east side. It's a uh, thriving, self-sustaining community. Um, it was very connected. Um, the um, our neighbors, we all knew each other. But she says, like in many neighborhoods around the city, over time, the things here on Canfield and Montclair changed. Resources have been removed from the community, um, which has caused it to become um, blighted. There's a lot of vacant lots and vacant houses. Rhonda says most of this occurred during the dramatic decrease in the city's population. The sisters say they were a part of that decline, but being away and seeing their childhood neighborhood go down, they knew something had to be done to preserve their family's legacy. So they came back and they brought funding with them. First garden was the uh, East Canfield Community Flower Garden, which was launched in 2018. The sisters now have a nonprofit and have received funding from various sources, including CN National Railroad, in addition to purchasing vacant lots around the area and creating beautiful gardens with local artwork and meeting spaces. They're also reinventing alley spaces in the area. Build not only green spaces, but um, opportunities for people to socialize together outside. Our neighborhood doesn't have social spaces, so if you wanted to go outside, a lot of people went to, you know, Belle Isle or Chandler Park or the Quinder Cup. We wanted to have something in the neighborhood. Tomorrow on October 23rd, the organization is having a fall festival event right here on Montclair and Canfield. They're calling on volunteers to come out and help spruce up the area from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We're going to have tools, so all you need to do is come. We're going to have refreshments. Up next for the sisters, revitalizing Brewer Park, an area where they say they have fond memories before the rec center was torn down. In Detroit, April Morton, CW50 News at 10.